Overhaul. That's right, guys. DJ's BrewTube here, back at you with yet another DJ's BrewTube Beer Hall video. You know when I go on a trip, I'm packing this bitch like a clown car with some craft beer. You saw my video out in Nevada, so you know DJ's ass was out doing some shopping. So, I'm going to open up this bad boy, get the beer delicately unpacked from its gigantic cocoon of happiness, and we'll be back in a flash with them brews. See you then. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. We got the suitcase unpacked. Let's see what's in that bag. You wait till you see how many beers I fit up in that biatch. Like I said, pack it like a clown car, and I mean it. So, first up, I decided to get me some local beers. You saw the I did the uh, Tanaya Creek. Uh, what was it a review of? It was their double IPA. I can't even remember the name of it now. Um, but I got decided to get another DIPA while I was out there, and I got the Hotbox Imperial IPA, and this is by Joseph James Brewery who's out of Nevada, and this is a 9% ABV DIPA. So, there's also a canned version of that, I think, too, but they didn't have it in singles. So, I got another Joseph James beer, and it's the Red Fox Imperial Russian Stout, or Russian Imperial Stout, whatever you want to call it, and I think this one's like 9.3% ABV. It's supposed to be a pretty good beer as well. And you know I like picking up, collecting some local brewers, and supporting those local brewers. Now, that said, I got a beer that's not so local. Why? Because I saw my good buddy Terry K, Beer Goggles, Beer Reviews, shout out to you Terry baby, review this beer and it's a Harveston beer. As it's Harveston Old Engine Oil, but not just regular Old Engine Oil, it's the Engineer's Reserve Old Engine Oil. It's a 9% ABV version, or an amped up version, of their Old Engine Oil, which is a really awesome porter. If you haven't had it before, give it a try, you'll like it. and. I'm glad to find this one because they don't have it around here at all. So, next up, when you travel, it's all about getting inaccessible brewers. Now, you know one of the brewers that I like a lot, thanks to my buddy Kevin who introduced them to me. And that's Kevin at Clem Clement's Homebrew, by the way. Shout out to you, Kevin. And it's Deschutes, and I've got their Inversion IPA. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. It's an older style IPA, not a big, gigantic DIPA like Hop Henge is, but I've heard really good things, and it's there, so I wanted to try it. So... Grab a single of that. Now, another beer. We get Firestone Walker here in Maryland, but we don't get a lot of their, like, I don't know, you may want to call them more pedestrian or sessionable or, or lower ABV beers. And as you know, I like some Pilsner. So I've got their Firestone Pivo Pills. And it says on the front here, Hoppy Pilsner. So that can't all be bad. And I haven't had a bad Firestone Walker beer yet, so I decided I'd give this one a go. All right. Next up. We got another Firestone Walker beer. Now, I've had double DBA, but for whatever reason, they don't have DBA around here. So, I grabbed me a Firestone Walker DBA, and as you know, this is an ESB. And if anybody knows the ESBs, it's Firestone Walker. So, one of the guys, I believe, who is part of Firestone Walker is from the UK originally. So, he should know him some ESBs. Now, we'll get into some bomber territory here. You saw I, I reviewed that... Uh, uh, Tanaya Creek uh, double IPA out there. That was a big old bomber. I needed that beer that day really bad too, guys. It was a long one. It's a five-hour flight from Maryland out to freaking Las Vegas. Anyways, so got another Deschutes beer, and I saw also Kevin reviewing this one, and he's one of the toughest reviewers I know on IPAs, and he loved this beer. It's um, Deschutes Brewery Fresh Squeezed IPA, which is supposed to be really tasty. I'm real happy to get this one. I can't wait to dive into it and see what this one tastes like because um, that's supposed to be a big old hoppy monster. That's going to go right up in the fridge immediately and get drank very, very soon. Anyways, so um, another inaccessible beer that I've wanted to try a long time, at least inaccessible to Maryland, um, is a beer from Santa Fe Brewing Company. Now, I saw this beer originally on Drinking Made Easy that me and my buddy Johnny were watching one night, and they went to Santa Fe Brewing Company, and this is probably their, their highest rated and most lauded beer, and this is Santa Fe Brewing Company Chicken Killer Barley Wine Ale. They've got the lovely New Mexico crown on the top here, and um, it's got a funky ass like uh, logo, like it looks like a dachshund standing up with a bandolier on and a sombrero, what that means, I don't know, but I guess that's what a chicken killer looks like in their mind anyway. Yes. Okay. Next up, I think that's like a 10% or two. I can't remember. Next up is another cool beer. That's a brand new beer. It's a pumpkin beer this year. We don't get this brewery at all. No chance, no way, no how here in Maryland. And it's Alaskan Brewing Company's Pumpkin Porter. This is a brand new 7% ABV pumpkin porter. 
And um, I've had some of the folks who subbed to me tell me this was really good. I should give it a try. So as soon as I saw it, I picked it up. This is pumpkin beer season. I'll be reviewing this one soon. It should be a really tasty brew. I haven't had a bad uh, brew from Alaskan yet. So, all right. Last but not least, one I didn't think I would be able to find because it's a it's a seasonal beer out in Las Vegas. It's a Las Vegas local beer. It's another Tanaya Creek beer. It's their um, old jackalope barley style, barley wine style ale. It's a limited production. They've got right on the side here, this was brewed on uh, 4 2 13, so it's pretty fresh still. But, you know, it's a barley wine, so I've heard a lot of good things about this, a lot of high ratings on this one, so we'll see how that goes. So, as you can see, we have delivered once again another big ass beer haul straight from the traveling world. And if you can imagine, all this went in my tiny little carry on size bag. If you guys pack it right, you can fit it no damage whatsoever through the southwest bagging system and guys you know what we got to talk about something important now not just beer halls we got to talk about thinking globally and drinking locally i got some local ass nevada beer right here in front of me and i was drinking local when i went out to nevada that's what we do because that's how you support the craft beer movement when you go to a different town if you find a local brewer buy their beer man support them find one that you like you know because every pint you buy Every bomber you buy, every single you buy, whatever it is, that helps that small brewer to medium-sized brewer grow and do more great things and make a smile with liquid joy called beer. So until the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks a million for watching this big-ass beer haul. And you know on the next trip, this bag's getting packed like a fucking clown car again. That's a big, oh, what else do I got? Clown car? Oh, yeah, that's a big peace out.